So this video is going to discuss how to um, access and work in Blackboard, our Class Connect sessions. So you can go to your class plan, um, you find whatever session you want to enter, click on the session, it's going to open, it's going to download a link, right? Click on the link to open. Once this pops up, you click run. So it'll connect to the host, authenticate, and then you are in the class. So you'll see your name right here, right? The participants list, you'll have your moderator or teacher up here. Um, they'll say moderator. If I have moderator privileges, that means I have all the privileges. Um, I can see private chats and all that. If you click on this um, little hamburger menu, the drop down tab, show my permissions. Right now you don't have any permissions. Um, once as a teacher I enable those permissions, the green or the red X's will slowly go away, right? So right now um, you have the audio permission, so the talk button. You have the video permission, so the video button. So the talk, if you click on the talk, you're able to talk and everybody can hear you. If you click on the video, um, your webcam will come on and everybody will be able to see you. So let me make that a little bit bigger so you can see. Um, if you, your next permission is the whiteboard tools, I mean, sorry, the chat permissions. So this is the chat box. If you need to send a private message to somebody, like let's say you wanted to private message me your grade, you can double click and just say, um, right? And then that way the rest of the people can't see your chat, only the person that you've private chatted. Um, if you're going to private chat with another student, I am still able to see the private chats, but no other student is able to see that. And then your next um, permission is the whiteboard permission. So this is the subject or the selecting tool. So you can select stuff with this. This is the point of interest tool. You can select any one of these that you want to use. This is completely anonymous. So no one will be able to see who it is, right? Um, so you just click on it, it gives you all the extensions and you can use that. Um, this is the drawing tool. So there you have a pin that you can draw with, right? So it's just a scribble tool. You can change the color if you want to change the color. Okay, so let's say I want to say loved, right? Um, you also have a highlighting tool. Let's say I wanted to highlight something, you can change the color to whatever color you need. And then um, you can highlight whatever you want to highlight. Uh, this is the texting tool. So there's the text box. So if you click on the A with all the multiple lines, you can make a text box and you can make them as big or as small as you want. And then other people are also um, capable of doing text box. Right? So um, you are able to see who did something by clicking on it. Um, by right clicking, it'll say created by Lanique Ovison. If you right click on yours, created by your name. Correct? Um, this is just a, uh, just, um, Circles and squares. This is an outline of a circle and a square, right? So super easy. Click and click and drag. Again, you can change colors if you want to change colors. So you can use this to select uh, maybe how you're feeling. Uh, the line tool just draws lines. Um, this is taking a picture of your um, a screenshot. If you want to take a screenshot. And then this is the clip art tool. And there's tons of different options on the clip art tools that you can use. Okay, so let's say you wanna um, just select a, uh, one of these, right? And then you can put it on the board. Okay, um, this is not anonymous. So you can select this and see who created it. Point of interest tool, like I said, is anonymous. So you cannot um, there's no way to click on this and find out who it was. So if we're doing something and I want an anonymous answer, the point of interest tool is the best tool to use. And then um, other options that we have underneath your name. Um, oh, sorry. So that's, so that's the whiteboard. Uh, one more thing also. Um, if, I, uh, if we have multiple pages and I ask you to go to multiple pages up here, if I have unchecked the follow button, you can move through pages, right? So 
here's a question. How are you feeling about this unit? Please place a clip art or whiteboard pointer over where you feel, right? So you can say, oh my gosh, I have no idea. I'm a, kind of, I get it. I totally got it. I've already taken the unit exam. I've aced it, right? Um, or you can use like a, one of these clip art tools um, if you wanted to use a little smiley face and say, yeah, I've got it. Um, and then you can just toggle through the pages if you want to do that. Okay, so that's the whiteboard. Um, this next button is the screen share. So the screen share right here, um, if you click this double um, rectangles overlapping, you can select what you want to share, right? So I can share my desktop, I can share Blackboard, I can share all of these things, Chrome, um, and then just hit share, right? And it's gonna screen share with everybody in the class. So it'll show you, you can kind of click around and see what's happening. And then you just simply click the stop sharing button and it will stop sharing. And then you can go back to the whiteboard. And then the last one is the web tour. So if you were to want to share a video with us for some reason, um, you can paste the URL website up here and then it will take everybody. So www.youtube. Um, it's going to take everybody to whatever URL you post in here. Um, again, back to whiteboard. Um, the other things that you can use, these are kind of fun. Um, it's just what you're doing, right? So you're sending a smiley face to the group. Um, if somebody does a really good job, you might applaud them, right? Um, show a sign of approval. The next one is um, the away button. So if you step away for some reason, you need to use the restroom or take care of chores or whatever, um, something that comes up unexpectedly, you can just hit the away button. That way I know that you're not being disrespectful and ignoring me. You're just not actually in front of your computer. Please do not use this as a form of logging into your class and then like leaving, right? So if you cannot attend class, just just don't attend class, but don't log in and then set yourself away because I will kick you out of class. Personally, I don't know how other teachers do it, but that's how I do it. Uh, when you come back, just make sure you click the um, away button again so that you come back, right? So you can see it'll say somebody else is away. Um, this is really important. This is the raise your hand tool. If you raise your hand, it's gonna ding. So let me show you that again. So that dings on my computer and it brings attention to it. Right? And if somebody else raises their hand, um, you will be able to see that somebody else rose their hand, right? And so it'll give me what order people raise their hand in. Um, I might do that so it'll say, you know, pulse check, see who's here, um, click the raise your hand button if you have completed your unit test, or click the raise your hand button if you're ready to move forward. I also ask that and use the um, green check mark or the red X, which is this tool. So I might say, um, if you are ready to move on, please use the green check mark. If you need a little bit more time, please use the red X. So as you can see, um, I chose the red X on the other computer. And if you are ready to go, you'll give me the green check mark. If you're not ready to go, you'll give me the red X. Okay. So that is pretty much um, everything. No, it's not. I lied. Um, breakout rooms. So if you, um, if I send you to breakout rooms or there are breakout rooms available, um, they will be uh, right here. So right now you only have the main room. So if I create breakout rooms, you are going to see them down here. Right now I have it enabled where you can move yourself. So you just click the drop down menu, select what room you wanna to go to and it will take you there. Okay. If for some reason I have enabled it to where you can't leave or you can't move yourself, like let's say, um, for example, I have it to where you can't move yourself, right? So you can't select and I move you to a breakout room. So um, maybe I sent you to room one because you weren't paying attention and um, I have a space out room, right? So it'll say, click the raise your hand button when you're ready to come back to class. So if you click the raise your hand button, it's going to ding on my computer and I'm going to know that you're ready to come back to class. Okay. And then I can move you back to class. If, um, if you have it in, or if I have it enabled to where you can move rooms, like once you've finished in your breakout room, please return to the main room. Right. And you can just return back to the main room. Um, I think that pretty much covers how to use Blackboard, how to use all the tools. Um, if you need further assistance, we will talk in class. Thanks.